Alright, I'm going to get cracking here because there's some pretty cool new features that are being utilized in these programs here. And uh, I'm going to show you. And just remember that these are here for a reason. And use them. If you like something, definitely use them. So if we go under here and we take a look at Microsoft Office... Uh, we have Access, Excel, OneNote, Outlook, PowerPoint, Publisher, and Word. That's pretty classic, and pretty classic here, too, uh, Microsoft Picture Manager and stuff. So we're going to take a look at all this, and it's going to be a big video series, and I'm not going to be able to do it all at once because of YouTube's time limit. So we're going to get started with Word here. Word has a few new features, mainly related to photo editing and stuff. Um... So let's just type in a word here. Uh, so there's some a few things you can do here. You have text effects, which are right now very easy to use. So if I click this, I've just created uh, a new a new looking word. And the nice thing is that it's so easy to do here, whereas in the old versions of Word text effects were very um, they were more difficult and so I can basically create a really professional looking kind of effect without knowing anything um, so and then the other thing is you with the paragraph you have all of this stuff on this page is basically the same as Word. They have a few new formatting styles here, like quote, it'll give it an italic, and uh, strong, it'll make it bolder. Uh, I don't see that. Uh, title, this is great if you want to write up like a, a, a nice looking article, and I can clear formatting if I don't like it. Um, one new feature I like here, and I'm going to get right to it, is if you click Insert, uh, Screenshot, Screen Clipping. So this brings you to a tool very similar to um, Snipping Tool, which is with Vista and Windows 7. So I like this picture here. We're going to take this picture. It automatically resizes it, and it brings me to my uh, picture tools. And I can do any sort of fancy schmancy uh, workup, and uh, I can put shadows. Uh, some of these borders and the circular looks are new with um, Word 2010 uh, picture borders, and they're making a few of these things easier to use. Um, a lot of this stuff is very the same. Some of the things that I really like here, uh, I'm going to zoom in on this so you can see better, are um, some of the adjustments and the corrections. So if I, I want a format picture here, I can choose a preset and I can uh, sharpen it. See the sharpen. So if you have a bad picture, you don't even have to have a photo manager. You can just throw it into Word and correct it for part of your document. You can uh, manually edit the sharpening. And it's quite an effective sharpener um, on this picture, not really. And you can alter the brightness and the contrast to be whatever you s suits your needs. So if you don't have a perfect image, you can tune it up to look great. Um, and that's all displayed. You can get to it that way, or you can view it on the uh, corrections. So that's right here. And so you can do whatever you want. Color, you can automatically recolor. So you can make it a black and white 50%, black and white 75 I can make it all different types of colors um, by basically clicking. So I, have, I don't have to know how to do anything. You don't need a fancy application like Photoshop. Uh, you can just make this work great for your document. Uh, these are great image effects here, actually, too, that you can use. Uh, and they're actually 
pretty much the same as Photoshop's in many cases. Like some of the some of them, like this one, is even better. I find uh, for image effects for painting looks, and um, so you can compress your pictures or whatever. And the other thing you can do here is you can crop your pictures, and you can either just crop. and it'll show you what you've cropped or you can crop to a shape so I'm gonna make this uh, moon moon shape and uh, I can alter that if I want to look more like a moon I can crop to a, a shape for a second time I'll make a sun out of the moon so the possibilities are really now endless with word in terms of picture uh, editing and uh, formatting too so you can really achieve anything you want without much skill at all so let's take a look here word is set up with a file instead of the main interface with the big button that was in 2007. Uh, you click file and it brings you the same stuff. And uh, stuff like uh, save as and whatever. Or And uh, you can also pin this to the recent documents list so that it doesn't go. Um, and you can save, save as, open, close, info. You can look at permissions you can protect documents check for issues um, recent it'll show you recent stuff new you can create anything you want you can manage budgets uh, really you can you have endless possibilities and basically this is almost like publisher because there are so many templates and you can search office.com for templates printing uh, you can send to printers, uh, you can choose your printer, you can share them online, you can send to SkyDrive, which is Windows uh, file sharing service. Help, you have plenty of help options. If you go under options, um, customize ribbon. The ribbon is the type of interface with the tabs, and you can really customize what tabs there are and what's under the tabs. Um, you can change many different things. And uh, you can also change the color scheme, so if you don't like black, you can make it blue. So there are many options in Word, and it can be a lot of fun to play with, um, because th there are a lot of exciting new changes, and it's, it's kind of a, a fresh... A fresh yet using the old 2007 base so it's not like you'd come to a completely new um, program and at the same time you have new features alright so thanks for watching next time I'm gonna take a look at some of the other uh, applications and uh, I'll be right back in part two of this series